Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. There's no special school for children living with disability in the Keta municipality of the Volta region. And as a result, children with special needs in the municipality are only able to access education by traveling to Hohoi. Those who cannot afford are left home. The situation has prompted a young woman, Elina Msala, to set up the Anglo Special School to give tuition to children with special needs. Hey, 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 the lack of a special school for children with disability in the Keta municipality of the Volta region prompted Elinam Salah in 2018 to start his school. With support from her relatives and friends, Elinam rented an apartment and procured some materials needed to run the school. The Law Special School currently has a student population of four. It has endorsement from the Special Education Unit of the Keta Municipal Assembly. 2017, I lost my mom. And whenever I come here, like I find this place very peaceful, yes. And so after everything, I decided to come here and then like put myself together. I started asking about the children. I went to the assembly and then I was told there was no facility here. So the few that were fortunate to be in school are taking all the way to Hohe, like every term. So I was like, okay, so why don't we start something here as well? Because Hohe is far from here and then even most parents can't even afford the transportation and all of that. The special education units were like, okay, fine, if I can um, get the resources, why not? And so I spoke to a few friends who had been following what I've been doing with their children like over the years. And then they helped me get accommodation and then some of the learning materials. Stigmatization has compelled some parents who have wards with special needs to keep them indoors instead of sending them to school to access education. Although Elinam wants to expand her school to enroll more students, she's unable to do so due to inadequate resources. She wants aid to complete a building which will, in the long term, increase access to education for children with special needs in the Keta municipality. Currently, Keta municipality does not have a special school. Our main challenge is um, accommodation. As you can see, we don't really have um, classroom space. But fortunately, um, the building behind us, I've spoken to my landlord, and he's agreed to support. If I'm able to raise some money, he would complete that place for us so we can use um, as classroom. I wish to appeal to you all to support us um, with materials to complete our building projects. Uh, Government should help us find a place here because we cannot keep the children at home. Something should be done. I've um, profound problems that cannot join the mainstream. We put them in special schools. And I'm thinking. If you look at, if you, if, you, if you count on record, if you look at those with hearing impairment, deafness in this municipal alone, it's just like any special school you have anywhere. So I'm, I suggest we have a special school for the deaf and a special school for the mentally retarded in this municipality. Although Ghana has an inclusive education policy, some parents who have children with special needs feel this has done little to address the challenge of educating children with special needs. According to UNICEF, one child in every five, aged 6 to 24 years with a disability, has never attended school, and those who are in school are often stigmatized and face discrimination. Awareness raising, screening and teacher training are key activities needed to increase the enrollment of children with special needs and keep them engaged and learning in class. Other factors such as long distances from school, lack of or limited infrastructure and favorable learning environments lead to high rates of erratic attendance, long absenteeism and dropping out of school of children with special needs.
special educators want political parties to make the education of children with special needs a priority in their manifestos. Our educational policies, education for all, education for everybody, it's not education for those who are able alone, those who claim they are able, no. We have, we have education for all. And this should be implemented to the fullest. They should religiously get some schools down for these people with disability. We have people who want to come around and volunteer and all that, but because we don't have accommodation, yes, so we can't really host them. Well, all the best to Elena Mendez. It's for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU.